trouble. Hi. We're out here in Los Angeles. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. And you're out here homeless. Yeah. Tell me about it. Um, well, I was, I, I wasn't planning on being homeless in LA. I don't think anybody's ever planning on being homeless though. Um, but I was, I've been traveling on and off for like five years and it started out, uh, it started out politically motivated, actually, um, and health-wise as well. Uh, my my boyfriend at the time, he's now my husband. Um, we Buddha, come here. Sorry, um, we were in like neck deep of a, of a, a pill addiction in Florida, and just like didn't want to do it anymore. So. I got a hold of one of my ex-boyfriends, actually, who was a traveler, and I was just like, I obviously can't do anything where I'm at right now. I want to kick. I want to get out of here. Can you help me? Like, where's the train yard? Basically, like, ready to fucking just get on a train. And uh, he came. He was actually already on his way down to Florida in a car with two of his other friends. So he picked us up, and we started touring the East Coast basically, just going to protest after protest after protest, and um, fighting cops actually helped us kick dope, which was really cool. What now what now? Yeah. Who we, helped you kick dope? Um, fighting cops. What is, what is fighting cops? Fighting, I mean, we were just going to political protests and... Um, oh, so <laughs> fighting police yeah. gave you purpose. Right. Well, it, it was just like a distraction. It was a, and it was a motivation. Yeah, it was a motivation to like, and just educate. I mean, he and I, he and I have always been um, on the alternative side of things. Our views of what's going on in, on in this world is, is a skewed one. I, I don't believe in any anything that the government does for this country. It's just falling apart. Yeah. It's, a, it's a game. And I, well, anyway, yeah. sorry. I could go on for hours about that shit. But um, we went to, we ended up in New Orleans. Uh, we went there to like get off the road for a little while and um, get married. And we did. And we ended up working with an art collective. Uh, doing like uh, political informatives through theater and puppet shows and shit like that. There was um, there we had a venue for like bands to come and play. We did an absinthe club every Sunday. It was really cool. Like it was a dream come true for us, you know. Like to and we felt like we were at home for the first time in like I mean in our adult lives, you know. Like we felt like we had a place to be and um, it fell apart. Uh, probably like a year and a half into it um, some people came and attached themselves to the organization and had their own agenda and we didn't agree with it so we had we, it resulted in us walking away and um, that like we, we basically just fucking went on a rampage <laughs> for a while we ended up you know drinking heavily and Again, just you know, we were very angry and sad at what had happened, and we ended up back on the streets. We like, we well, you know, I guess because we had our place for a little while, so for like two, two years after that, we were working full-time jobs, everything, but like, I mean, we were, we were functioning addicts, I guess you could call that, because like, with the, with, I mean, I, we were drinking a lot, and then, you know, weed, cocaine, basically anything that we could put into our bodies, we were doing it, but we, we had to pay for it, had to pay for where we were living at, so it was just zombifying us to, you know, 50, 60 hour work weeks to just, you know, waste on rent and drugs. Basically, so we went back to squatting. We left. We left everything. Our apartment full of our whole life. <laughs> you know, back out to travel. Yeah, just packed up our bags and well, that was the plan was to travel. But Nola has this thing where it likes to keep you <laughs> if it wants you. Um, so we we ended up 
on the streets in NOLA, we were we were squatting, but we were also like working and shit, but not having rent, you know, that's more money to, you know, fuck off with. So, cool. We got really, really fucked up. Um, the NOLA street kid scene is some, it, it's like kind of like a theme park ride on steroids. <laughs> Every community has one. Though. Yeah. It's, you could find it. Oh, yeah, no, it's know? everywhere. And if us you, drug addicts, we oh, yeah, somehow mi migrate to where they're. So, anyways, you're here in Los Angeles. So, we finally made it to Los Angeles. We were actually here three months ago. Um, and there we couldn't make any money to save our lives while we were out here and then we hopped on a train to go to San Francisco our buddy was actually gonna bless us with some work so we could um, you know make some money or whatever um, we got out on a train in Colton and woke up in freaking Las Vegas and it was going to Salt Lake it was going not nowhere near California anymore it was gone so we got stuck in Las Vegas for like... The life of hop and trace. Oh my God, we got stuck there for like two months. Uh, my husband's pack was stolen, all of our IDs, birth certificates, his service dog shit, everything was just... And that's Buddha. That's Buddha, yeah. Um, so... Say hello, Buddha. Buddha, say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we finally had um, a homie it basically came full circle, like my buddy coming and picking us up in Florida, my my homie uh, and her boyfriend that we squatted with in New Orleans was actually, they, they had like gotten a car kicked down to them in Wyoming or something like that and so they came to Vegas and picked us up and brought us out here. Um, we so really, where are you sleeping? I, uh, right now I'm like, we, we kind of like fall over over there sometimes, <laughs> or, um... There's no way to live. No, it's not. Like, and that's what, like, I, I'm already, like, it's one thing when you're transient, you know, like, and you're traveling. Yeah. It's, like, I love that. I love that life. Like, yeah. I love being on... The freedom of it. Yeah, I love it. But, like, being, um, stagnant in one place and with nothing gets really old really quickly dealing with the fucking home bums constantly like I've been on this corner eight years and fuck you like that sucks that you've been on this corner eight years dude that's nothing to pride yourself on you know and um I mean everybody struggles with their addictions and stuff like that we we do we've been on and off shit like our entire relationship um but Right now, it's just about focusing and like you know getting back on track. And as soon as I have my fucking ID, dude, I'm back up north trimming fucking weed and having a good time doing it. Yeah. Like having a place to stay, stability, you know. So that's like, your future. That's what. what yeah. Yeah. Getting a place to stay, getting your ID. Yep. Trying to get your life back up. Yeah, dude, and like I mean. So you know, travelers are very unique, and whenever I talk to you guys. I get jealous because I want to go hop a train, <laughs> but I'm too old. In fact, uh, a bunch of travelers in a school bus uh, invited me two weeks ago that I connect with on Facebook. And um, I'm like, I am too old. You I, have. Want, I know. At I least know. You but, been on the bus. but here's the thing. So, how do people that want to help homeless people? And there's a lot of kids out there traveling. How do we help people that are traveling? Um, just don't treat them like they're scum, dude. They're people, too. Like, we're, we're fucking, we're human beings, too. We have, like, at dreams and aspirations. We just go about life a little differently, you know? Um, a lot and, of the challenges for, like, youth service organizations is you guys pop in for a shower and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the trick of the trade, you know? Like, and I mean, we appreciate every everything that people do for us you know it's not that i mean granted there are some douchebags out there don't get me wrong like but i mean there's douchebags working in these business yeah, towers exactly. you know so if you had three wishes what would they be uh right now one would be to have my id to to have a roof to put this little guy under and three a 
car that would never run out of gas. <laughs> hey, good wishes. Thank you very much for talking. Thank you.